an introduction to paired hypothesis tests. A company wishes to see if employees are quicker at completing a task regularly done as part of their job. Seven individuals, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, are randomly selected and their times for before and after receiving training is recorded. So the data is in pairs. Employee B has their data here for before training and after training. There are seven pairs of data. We have a choice of three paired hypothesis tests. The sign test and the Wilcoxon test came up in unit S3 and the new one here, the paired sample T test. And the reason for using a paired test is to remove variation down to individuals. The sign test and Wilcoxon test are referred to as distribution-free or non-parametric tests. We are not assuming the data is taken from a given probability distribution. So for example, we don't have to assume that the population of differences will be normally distributed. Whereas with the paired t-test, we are assuming that the population of differences is normally distributed. So, a sign test, no distributional assumptions. H0 and H1 are always in terms of the population median difference. We always test the median and never the mean. It's easy to do. You cross out any zero differences. It can be done with non-numerical data and it's good with inaccurate data. The Wilcoxon signed rank test. It assumes the population differences are symmetrically distributed. We can test either the mean or the median. So your H0 could be in terms of the population mean difference or the population median difference. Any zero values or zero, zero differences are crossed out. It's a non-parametric test. It's better than the sign test as it takes the size of the differences into account. The paired t-test, the population of differences is normally distributed. So this is uh, either known or assumed. We always test the population mean difference. It's more likely to detect a difference if there is one out of all three of these paired tests. And we do not cross out a zero difference. A zero difference is used as a part of the test. In unit S5 we did a sample, a two sample t-test for the population mean using unpaired data. The paired t-test is better as it removes variation due to individual differences. However, if paired samples are not available, then the test done in unit S5, the two sample t-test, is an alternative.